guys hope you're all doing well so I apologize for the length of this video but I want to be as detail oriented as possible when it came to my inventory so this video is all about my makeup inventory and how I digitally organize every single product in my makeup collection uh, a little quick bit of background information um, I have a lot of makeup I collect it you guys know um, and the idea of a makeup inventory came about because I am a, a organized person I am a spreadsheet keep track organized data analytical type of person um <clears throat> clearly type a personality over here but anyway um probably a couple years ago maybe like two or so years ago um actually when i started um shopping um i guess more heavily for makeup like i don't know um i would have to double check to see if I had a product um and when I went to IMAX I remember like two years ago I started like taking pictures of shades of things that I already had like eyeshadows pressed pigments lashes to, to know which ones I already had bef before I went and so I could reference my picture so I'm not buying the same thing which was a great idea but I'm like why don't I make this a little bit more permanent because like once I get more I gotta take another picture blah 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 that kind of thing and let's start a makeup inventory so about three two and a half years ago ish around that time I started makeup inventory, literally painstakingly entering everything in my collection. It was very labor intensive. I started with lips and I got through all my lip products and I started and then I went to palettes and I just never finished. It just took so much out of me to do it. I wasn't that invested into it because it, I, don't know, I don't know. And then as I got new makeup or new lip products and new eyeshadow palettes, I forgot to put them in the inventory and it kind of just faded away type of thing. And then um last year um towards the end of last year I you know came revisited the thought and I'm like I really want to do this I really want um to keep track of all of these things as I go shopping as I do things like I really want to I found myself more and more especially over the holidays 2018 having to like not buy things like double check when I went home if I had it or not that kind of thing I think I called Nelson a couple times and was like can you look at my lipsticks and see if I have this kind or whatever just because you just I'm pretty good at remembering, but sometimes you just don't know. So I was like, let's do this again. So I actually set a goal, resolution, whatever you call it, for 2019 to finish my makeup inventory because I had no idea how long it was going to take me to finish inventory and all this stuff. Needless to say, it only took me about two weeks. So I went back and re, uh, like, organized the stuff I already entered into, um, into the spreadsheet and um and then I just went it took me about two weeks I spent like an hour or two every day after work um just putting things in one by one adding every item so currently right now everything makeup related is in my make in my inventory including primers lashes and setting sprays what is not in my inventory is skincare lip balms type of thing everything else every single makeup item is in this inventory I use Google Sheets um, I like Microsoft Office I love Excel um, and OneDrive is okay but in, in terms of drives and cloud computing I prefer Google Drive um, I have an Android phone so it's just much easier to pull it up and different things like that um, and so and I since I finished this inventory I've pretty much referenced it every time I'm in a makeup section in a store not necessarily buying something I don't always buy things but like do I have this? Or like, you know, that kind of thing. And I open my phone and my inventory is there. Um, it automatically updates. Like if I enter something in the computer, it already updates because it's Drive, it's cloud computing. And so I it, on any device, I can have the most updated makeup collection inventory. And so I'm really excited. I wanted it to be done in 2019. Then I set an even more aggressive goal to have it done before I'm at. And it's been done for a couple weeks now. And um I talked about about it. I talked to you guys about it in a favorites video, and you guys wanted to see it. Um, and so I am going to, yeah, show you on the computer um, every single tab of my makeup inventory. I'm going to show you how I organize it, how I categorize it, how to fix mistakes. Um, if you're using Google Drive and you just want to learn a little mini lesson, how to fix mistakes. Um, also. Also, also, I'll show you my final numbers if you're curious in each category how many of each product that I have. So make sure you watch that. Um, and then after we show you that, um, I'll stop back. We'll come back here really quickly and I'll tell you like what, what I do from now on. Like what's, what's my process now that I have a full inventory. So without further ado, let's go over to the computer and I will show you. 
Hey guys, so this is what my inventory currently looks like. I, as I mentioned before, I use Google um, Drive. So what this is, is my Google Sheets app. So it's just like Excel, but yeah. So the way my inventory is set up is you can look down here. I have various tabs. Now you can make this inventory um, just one long sheet with all of your products. So you can make subcategories within the sheet. So you're just looking at one document. But I honestly can't do that because it's just so much and I don't want to be scrolling forever um, to look for something. So instead, I have broken it down into tabs um, and how I determine which tabs that were used, um, what needs its own tab is just how many I have of it or if they're completely unrelated from something else. Like I tried to combine my eyelashes and my sprays together, but I didn't know what to call it. And like, I don't know, it's just this works for me. However, it works for you works for you. Um, <clears throat> so the order that I put the tabs, I did order them. You don't have to. Um, I put it in the order of like how I would put it on just because it makes sense to me. Um, other eyes includes brows and liners, cream eyeshadows. So the shadow bases and things like that. Um, single eyeshadows that are either in a palette, magnetic or just on their own single shadows. All of my eye palettes, all my false eyelashes. My primers, foundations, concealers and powders. They all can get their own. Highlight, contour, and blush all got its own. Um, sprays and then lip products. And so those are all the tabs that I have. And then within each tab, um, so we're starting with other eyes. Every tab has the brand. So that's self-explanatory. The brand needs to be there. Um, the product line. So everything doesn't have a product line. But when I say product line, I mean what's on the product other than what it is. So, for example, Absolute New York has nano liners, okay? And they're liquid eyeliners, um, but they're called nano liners. Um, like Anastasia Belly Hills, her product line is Brow Wiz, okay? And it's a brow pencil. Um, so that's kind of what it is. So the product line, and some things don't have a product line. I try to not leave any blank spaces, but um, I'll put like regular line, for example, here in Elf, like just regular line. Don't know, you know what it's called. Um, some things, if they don't have a shade, I'll have a blank, but I'm going to start putting NA or none or clear or something just so I don't have any blank spaces. But anyway, so product line category what it is to the best of my ability most of the products say what they are liquid liner brow gel brow pencil or you just know what it is um shadow stick you know and i try to keep these consistent um in terms of what it is so if for an example if okay elf has these jumbo these shadow sticks right if another company makes shadow sticks but they call them like I don't know, shadows in a tea, like it's a shadow stick. <laughs> you know, I don't necessarily, this, this category here, product line, it's what's on the packaging. This is so I know what it is. It does not necessarily have to be what they call it. You know, if it's a pencil eyeliner and they call it eye gel in a, what in a tube, it's a pencil liner. So that kind of thing. So I know. Um, and then the color or shade obviously is self-explanatory. And then what I also did is how much it costs. Um, I'm filling in spaces. I didn't do all the prices as you'll see. I'm going to show you every single tab. But um, as far as prices, I want to know like if I bought everything full price, how much this stuff is worth. You guys know I get things on sale. I, you know, you don't buy everything full price. Some things came in sets and kits. But I put the price of it. I don't put what I paid for it. I put how much it is. Also, this will help. God forbid anything happens. Renters insurance. I have a I have um a record of things, I guess. You know, I know that's something we don't want to think about. But if anything happens, um, yeah. So the how much they are. And as you can see, I have some blank spaces in this category because I didn't I didn't enter the prices when I was inventorying. I just wanted to get everything in. And this is something that I do at my leisure continuing to add prices to things and then the last category i have is notes i don't really put anything here um in most of them but some like in my eyeshadow palettes i put a note that i depotted it um so i know that it's not in the eyeshadow area it's in like in the eyeshadow palette area it's in the 
single eyeshadow area or something like that. Like it's that kind of thing. So that's what it looks like. So I'll just do a quick scroll of each tab. These are my other eyes. Also, before I go, there's something really interesting that you can do when you sort. So I'll show you how I sort everything. So um, what I do, I'll actually do it now. Let's sort this. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything. Um, and it's pretty much sorted now, but in case I get something new, ooh, in case I get something new and add it to the bottom, I have to resort. So you're going to select all of this. All right. And so what I do in right click and I'm going to sort this range. So what I do, I always check this. It has a header row. Um, so the first thing that I sort by is brand. I always sort by brand because when I'm in the store, I'm usually looking at a brand and so I can go to that brand. Um, okay. So I'm looking at other eye products. I'm looking at that brand first. Okay. Then I sort by, it depends on the category, but for this category, I'm actually going to sort by, where is it? Oh, wait a minute. Add another sort column. I'm actually going to sort by what it is, not product line but actually category i'm going to sort by that second always alphabetically a a to z i'm going to sort by category second because um in this category the name really just doesn't the product line is not as important as what it is because usually when you go this is all my organized mind when you go into the store they're not sorted by the well, I guess it can be sorted by the product line, but they usually sorted by the product. Whatever. This is how my mind works. Um, and then I'll sort by color and shade because I'm looking for a specific name. Um, and then I'll sort by um, product line. Oh, the last ones don't really matter. But brand, um, category, color, shade are the three most important in this. Um, so then I'll just add the others. Product line, whatever price. That might be fun. Whatever. So you hit sort. And a few things changed, but this one was already sorted, as you can see. So now when I go into um, a store and I'm at the L'Oreal area, for example, L'Oreal, uh, I can go to, OK, their shadow sticks, infallible, which I don't think they make those anymore. Their mascaras or their liners. And that's that's how it's sorted. That's how I like to sort all of these. So now I'll go through and show you the other one. So this is my cream eyeshadows, um, again, sorted by brand first. Sorted by brand first. Um, I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick sort, um, just to make sure. Sort range. All right, let's sort it by brand. Um, these are all cream eyeshadows or cream gel eyeshadow bases. So this category, what it is, is not as important as the, um, uh, oh my gosh, the product line. In this category, it's called name, but in this tab it's called name i need to be a little bit more consistent but that's what i mean so yeah the what it is is not as important because if i'm in the cream eyeshadow tab they're all cream eyeshadows but basically the other tab had a multitude of products so i needed to know what type of products they were hope i'm not making anyone getting anyone confused but um and then shade would go next and then yeah whatever else um See, they were already sorted. Yeah, so AOA Studio, their Velour Mousse, ColourPop, Super Shock Shadows. Um, in an older version of my inventory, ColourPop had its own tab, but I kind of got rid of, I got rid of all brand only tabs. Um, at first I had, like if I had a brand with a lot of stuff, no, because I would have a lot of brand, a lot of brand tabs. So I got rid of brand only tabs and everything is in its category. So I have a lot of cream eyeshadows you see here, maybe in color tattoos, all of these are, yeah, in that category. Single eyeshadows, this is a large category as well. Again, this um, category type is not as important as product line is. Um, so that's how they are sorted. Um, I have a lot of single eyeshadows. Um, we'll go back, after I go through each tab, I'll go back and we can see the numbers if you're interested in my numbers. So. Um, yeah, so all my Coastal Sense Hot Pots, all of them are in here. Every Coastal Sense Hot Pot that I own is in here. It took a while. <laughs> Just saying. ColourPop, um, Inglot, Carity, Juvia's Place, all of my singles are in here. All of my singles. Um, and pressed pigments. So the only thing that's not a single eyeshadow is, a, is the Morphe pressed pigments um, or loose pigments. They still count as single eyeshadows, but they're in that category. Um yeah, moving on, all of my eyeshadow palettes. So the eyeshadow palettes, um, again, still the same concept, 
uh, product line. A lot of eyeshadow palettes don't have a product line, so I just put regular line. Even if it's discontinued, it was in the regular line at one point in time. Um, I'll try to put in like spring collection, holiday collection. It, it, I'll go back and update those things. The point of the matter is that the item is in there. But sometimes, you know, I just, I gotta, I put something in. So like ColourPops, I know they come out with like this collection or the green collection or the spring collection. I, sometimes I can't remember when it came out. Like I can't remember that. So I do just put regular just to have something there. Um, um, like some I know are limited edition, but it's also, it's just hard. It, that can be pretty hard. Um, but I, I like what I have here. Um, so these are my eyeshadow palettes. For an example, um, this young lady, her eyeshadow palettes, a couple of them, a lot of them I have depotted. So that's why I would put those notes once I make them again. Um, sorting and such. Uh, Morphe, NYX, Profusion. Like I remember because these were recent that I got the holiday ones. 2021 uh this is so funny so let me show you something um when you do in a spreadsheet when you do in a spreadsheet um and you do this called the fill handle um you can copy like what's in one cell all the way down but when it's numbers it will keep counting the numbers so instead of writing holiday 2019 I put holiday 20, 2018, I'm sorry, where was it? Holiday 2018, and I tried to copy it all down to all those palettes. It just kept adding. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> that's funny. Holiday 2018 is what this is. So I am going to, I'll show you how I would fix that, because in case you're interested. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to select this, and for the time being, I'm going to sort this range uh, by product line first, Okay. Um, by product line first, wait, no, I'm going to sort it by brand first and then I'm going to sort it by product line. So I can have all those holiday ones together really quickly. Um, in case you want a little lesson, <laughs> see these holiday 2018. Yeah. So if I do this, I take it all the way down. It's going to count these numbers, but we don't want that. So I'm just going to copy. Um, and we're going to paste it down. So, um, yeah, while I'm doing this, um, what else was I going to say? So, yeah, it, it's a if you're not into like if you're not computer savvy, if you're not into you have to really enjoy this kind of data entry inventory type of thing. And I genuinely do in my professional and personal life. So that's another reason why I take joy in this. Um, you also another uh, idea is to have a. Um, a hard copy of your inventory. Get a little mini binder and do that. Like that might be something I was thinking about doing a hard copy type of thing, but um, I just didn't go that route. But it's it's up to you. Um, you can do like get dividers and things like that. You could um, you could use like a composition book. You can use like a journal. Some people make swatch books where they swatch. Um, where they swatch the um, product or shadow and cover it with a piece of tape. It's completely up to you. It's completely up to you. But anyway, so that's my eye palettes. And then we go into lashes, which I don't have that many lashes. Most of my lashes are cocoa. Um, but I have them. And one thing with lashes I did add. I didn't put product line because I don't need that here. Um, the style of the lashes um, and then the quantity, how many pairs, because I usually have multiple pairs of lashes. And that is important, um, especially when like you're going to IMAX and you're like, oh, I love y'all know I love Queen Bee lashes. I am down to one pair. That's a problem because <laughs> lashes is something that I'll stock up on. So knowing how many that I have is something that is important. All right. Primer, foundation, concealer and powder. Same concept. Same concept. I still have to add pro add prices, but again, you guys get it. Again, this is a category where what it is is more important because there's a mixture of a bunch of things in here. So that's, yeah, it's sorted by brand first and then the product. Um, okay, highlight, contour, blush, same thing. Um, yeah, same thing over and over again sprays again with quantity because i have a couple more than one a couple of those yeah um and then lips 
product line, category, color, shade, price. So, um, yeah, some of them I have the prices added again because I started last time. Others, it takes a while. So if you're curious about some numbers, because this video is already 15 minutes, um, just this part of it. So if you're curious about numbers, let's go through. So in my other eye category, which is liners, primers, brows, um, that kind of thing, I am currently sitting at 237 products. So that's every eyeliner, brow product, mascara, that kind of thing. I make no apologies for the numbers in my collection, though, by the way. Uh, cream tattoos, cream tattoos, cream eyeshadows and color bases, we're at 219. Uh, single eyeshadows, this number is really exciting, we're at 554. Um, eye palettes. And eye palettes include quads. Um, duos are in the single eyeshadows, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 315 palettes, lashes, 36 different types, primer, foundation, concealer, and powder. It's a lot in that category, but those items total 257. Um, highlight, contour, and blush. Those total 245. Sprays 23. Uh, and lip products is the highest number of them all, as you can guess, at a whopping 898. <laughs> and this, just having this all organized, having this all here makes me happy. It, it makes me happy that I keep track, that I am organized. Um, I know how much things cost. I know how much my collection is worth once I add all these prices in, which is funny. Um, but yeah, so that is the make my makeup inventory, um, how I organize it, what is involved. And, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, um, yeah, back to you, Candace. Okay. So now you see, I think that's everything. As I said in that video, I do not make any apologies for the amount of makeup I have. It's not to brag. I am very proud of my collection. I'm very happy and I'm even more giddy about the organization and the inventory and everything. I just, it just makes me so happy. It really does. When I was done, um, it wasn't like, dang, I have all this. It was like, I have all this. I'm so excited. It was one of those. Uh, let me know if you want me to, like, how much everything costs and give you a realistic price on if I bought everything full price how much I've spent on makeup since I've been you know let me know if you want to update to that also so now going forward and this is what I have been doing because I've gotten a few items gotten things this is what I have been doing um since I finished the inventory so um before the makeup comes over here you guys know I talk about it in my makeup organization like like when I get new things, how they go in this little container over here um, to be reviewed, to make a video about, to be testing before they even hit that. That's where the new products are. Before they even hit that, they hit my desk and they get put in the inventory. And I have been really good with that. I have not missed anything. Um, I will not open it until it's in the inventory. And that's something that I set for myself. I will not open it. Um, I, I get most of my makeup, like when I go to Ulta and store type of thing. So when I bring the bag home, I sit at the desk and I put it in. I, I think I've only been to Ulta twice since I finished this, but whatever. You guys know what I mean? And I'll put it in the inventory. If I order stuff online, which the only thing I ordered online since this inventory has been finished has been my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stuff, the palette and the liquid vault. And so once that, I this is... Uh, my rules now once it's been shipped God forbid I know you can lose a shipment that's never happened to me knock on wood or like you don't get it or something that's never happened to me and I hope it never does but once it's shipped I'll go on my order form I'll look at my order form and add those items to the inventory so with the Anastasia liquid lipstick vault that was 10 new liquid lipsticks before they were even in my apartment they were in the inventory and it came and I was done and I was good to go. So when things ship, that's when I'll do it. And if it doesn't come, God forbid, if I have an issue with shipment or something, then I'll just go in and delete those things out. I know what I ordered. Um, but that, that also helps. So 
I just made a ColourPop order with a couple things in it. And so once that is shipped, I will add those items to the inventory to save me some time. And yeah, and the idea is I'll take my phone, take my tablet when I go to IMATS. And after I come home, well, after I come back to the hotel from day one, I can add those things to my inventory before I even get home because it's in the cloud. So that is the process and it has worked. It has worked flawlessly. I'm pretty excited. As I mentioned before, I'm still adding prices to things and fixing little minor blank spaces and that kind of thing. Um, and as always with anything, it's a work in progress. But um, thank you guys for requesting this and asking about it and enjoying my crazy organized weird mind. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this or any other organization software or things like that, leave it down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.